You wouldn't do it. Yep. He said, brother, he said, I need some work. He said, if you can get fired anything, I need some work. I said, I said, well, I'll tell you what, let me call you back tomorrow because I've got to go look at a house. I said, it's an exterior paint job. You like to paint? Oh, yeah, I ain't paint no problem. I said, well, I said, let me go see if I land this job. If I can land this job, you can help me on that house. I didn't know I was going to tell all this, but let me tell you. Come on, brother, preach it. God Testify. needs you to hear what I'm telling you tonight. Amen. Come on. If I'll draw a line, I know you'll draw a line. Yep, I've drawn some. Amen. This is what happened. I got the job, no problem. Man, I bid it high. I really did. About, about $800 higher than I should have bid it. But I thought, well, this lady really wants this house done as busy as busy as I am, and I ain't got no help. But Doug's standing on the sideline won't work. I'll let him help me with it. You know what? She said, when can you start? I said, when you want me to start? She said, well, if it was painted yesterday, it's been time with me. I said, I'll be here in the morning. She said, okay. She said, just tell me what I need to do and what I need to get, and I'll go get it. I said, better than that. I said, I'll go with you, and we'll get whatever we need. I said, I'll be here in the morning. Amen. I told, called Doug at night. I said, all right. I said, you want to work? You'll be here tomorrow morning. I said, I'm going to have to go get uh, material. It'll probably be about 9 o'clock before I get back with the material so you can meet me. You just call me when you get in hunt, so I'll tell you where to come. He said, no, just tell me where to come. I'll put it on my GPS, and, and I'll be there when you get back. I said, all right, I'm going to get there about 7 o'clock in the morning. We're going to go to Lowe's and get whatever we need, or, or Home Depot, wherever she wants to go. And I'll get the paint supplies, and I'll be back. You know what I pulled in? At 7 o'clock that morning, he's sitting on the side of the road in front of her house. He ready to go? Ready to go. <laughs> he said, brother, I figured, you know, doing outside painting, there's going to be some scraping and stuff to do. So I'll just do the scraping and stuff while you're going to get material. Amen. <laughs> I like, best worker I ever had. Had the most meek and quiet spirit about him I ever <laughs> seen in my life. I'm telling you, he was different, Brother Johnny. He wasn't the same person Amen. that he used to be. Amen. And I've done this two years of his life that I could have been with him. Yep. I got to spend the next eight months with him. And he got killed coming to work one morning. Tore me up, Randy. Bless my Lord. heart. Didn't know what to think. Oh, Lord, to God, why, Lord? I still to this day don't understand why, but let me tell you how much of an impact that he had on those every person that we worked for, Johnny, in them eight months that was at his funeral in Hartsville, Alabama. Every one of them that we worked for. Wasn't a one missing. Every one of them. Mm. And stood up and said, one of the nicest persons I've ever met. Why? Because going to prison taught him something. And meeting Jesus changed his whole life. Right. He wasn't nothing like he used to be, Penny. And I'm telling you, he thought I ministered to him, but he was a mentor to me. Amen? I'm telling you tonight, amen? Yes. You ever seen somebody that walked in love? It was Doug. <laughs> One of the meanest persons I ever grew up around was nicer to me than anybody I'd ever met in my entire life. All he did was show me love. I mean, he sat up under me like I was his big brother. Honored me. Got around people, he bragged and talked about what God had done in my life. Mm -hmm. Just tripped me out. I just tell you, I needed them last eight months with him. I wish I could have had two, two years and eight months. Amen, brother. If I hadn't have drawn the line, brother John. But he 
We have people today that are hurting. People today that's in trouble. People today that don't know Jesus. And you know Jesus. And God needs to use you to help them. Yes. We can't we can't close up the vows of mercy. We can't shut off love and kindness out of our heart. We gotta walk in forgiveness yes. with one another and let God be God in our lives. Amen. Yes, we do. And I'm telling you, Brother Johnny come in this morning talking about what and preaching about what Brother Greg had preached on that first night when he come in here, he blowed me away. I'm telling you, one of the best messages, and so simple. Such a simple message, Brother George. But I'm telling you, that message that he brought mm -hmm. about rebuilding the altar, oh, I needed it. Me I too. believe the whole church needed it. Yep, you got that right. Amen. I believe the whole church body, not just here, but all through the world, needs it. Amen. Yep. Why? Because you see evil and wickedness working in the churches today. You see it. Look. You see people shutting down bowels of mercy. Amen. You see people not caring and humbling themselves one to another. Amen. Being kind one to another. You don't see them being meek. You don't see them being humble. And we wonder... While the church views are happy. Yep. Amen. Come on, brother. It's good preaching. I'm telling you, amen, we need to change our heart. We need to realize, amen, that we need more God than ever before. And we need to be who God's called us to be. I'm fixing to close this thing. First Peter 1 and 5 says, And beside this, Give all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge. And to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness. Amen. Verse 7. And to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. Amen. Telling you tonight. You and I. <laughs> at times I believe God's pleased with us I believe at times <coughs> there's a sweet fragrance that God smells when he looks upon us amen but I do believe at times we find ourselves at fault and we know if God were to come back right then, we'd miss the boat. Amen? Because the Bible says, Though a tree fall, that shall it fly. Sin shall not remain in our life. And God don't like ugliness. I'm telling you, God don't like ugliness. He don't like a prideful spirit. Amen? But what, what was that scripture again? He that lifted up himself, exalts himself, is amazed. shall be amazed. Shall be amazed. He that humble himself shall be exalted. He that humble himself shall be exalted. We need to get back to that altar. Amen. Be the children of God. Walk in love and kindness one with another. Amen. If we can't walk in love and kindness in here, what makes you think we can do it out there? Tell you, we need to tear down the walls and the, the, the we need to tear down the, the stumbling blocks, amen, the wedges and the things, amen, and the enemy comes in just like he did you this morning, Rita. Because, Rita, I know I wouldn't even ask you but they trust you. I promise y'all would. But I forgot, I seen the woman here. I knew she was here. She talked to me too. But you know, she got up and went out, went out here, and I didn't know if she left or went back there. 
And then I, I, I remember in the back of my mind, seeing her turn go that way, so I figured, well, she just in the red I said, wait a minute, LaVon, LaVon's here. When she comes out, she can just come back there. You know? And there's LaVon turning the corner. And so I, I changed what I'd say. It had nothing to do with trusting you, though. You're right. I'm glad you rebuked the devil. Oh, if I know he'd have said that to you, I'd have rebuked him with you. Amen? If I have a problem with you, you guarantee I'll come to you and say something. And I won't do it. I'm not arrogant. Don't think that I am. Amen. Because I'm no better than you. Amen. I make faults. And when I'm wrong, I don't mind saying I'm wrong. I'll just tell you right now. There's been times I've had to come and say, Penny, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Hey, buddy. Ready. Come on in, brother. Praise the Lord. Give him a hand clap. Amen. He didn't have to come, but he did. Amen. There's been times that I said I was wrong. Jessica, and I had to come apologize. Man. You know, I learned a long time ago to crucify my flesh. And I'm nothing, y'all, without God. Nothing. And neither are you. We got to let God be God in our life. Amen. And God walks in love. Amen. And forgiveness. Amen. I'm telling you, man, there's not a love like God has. I want to encourage you tonight. Amen. Find your place at this altar. Cry out and ask God to help you to push those strongholds aside. To quit giving place to the negative thinker. Amen. If you have a problem with someone today, amen. I don't care what they done to you, amen. Melinda, she battled a problem. It wasn't her fault, but it's been put on. It's not a battle. You just give it to God and let it go. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, there's not no modern worship. Not nobody at all worth what you're harboring in your heart and just let it go. Forget it, forget it. Oh, I'm telling you, you'll be happier than you've ever been. When you can look at him and not be angry at him. Oh, I ask you tonight, God, to wash her and cleanse her right now, God, of this infirmity, God. God, sanctify her tonight. Fill her and stir her with your spirit, God, that she'll no longer reveal to these thoughts, God. And these feelings, but God, she'll just leave them at this altar. God, she'll stand up, free and clean to all of it right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for a mighty Saturate her tonight with your love, God. Oh, there's Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Let him copy love. Oh, hallelujah. Master, he's my Savior. He's Jesus. Thank you.
nothing you can do about the past but let it go. Let it go and go on. Go on and follow God. Let God be the one to lead and guide you. You quit worrying about the past. The past has nothing in store for you that God has in store. Just let it go and go on. Bible says, He that taketh hold of the plow and look it back is not fit for the kingdom of God. That means that you can't do things the way that you feel like doing. You can't do what you think you want to do. You've got to do what God says to do. And that means there's a change of life for you. That means that you've got to let go of the old man and put on the new. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. God has gave you some precious there. Something that you need to raise in the fear and admiration of the Lord. These times of disuse right now are so precious in this child's life. But you better start now. Don't wait till later. Don't think that she don't understand it. Let me tell you, that child understands more than you and I did when we was that age. Oh, I'm telling you, they just seem to be smarter than that we were when we were that age. I know you're not near as old as I am, but I believe even in your 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 walk right now, you know that this child just amazes you at the things that she can do. Oh, I'm telling you right now, Jesse, God wants you. To bring her to church, he wants you to get in church and be the church. Be who God's called you to be and quit putting it off. Don't make excuses, but do it. When the doors are open, be here if you can. Amen. The Bible said, faith coming not, but by hearing, by hearing the word of God. And you need to be here. I said it tonight before you come in. That very same scripture, amen. I also said that, you know, we jump in the shower, amen, to take a shower and to get cleaned up, amen. We grab the bar of soap, amen. We grab a rag and we begin to wash, amen. We begin to get the shampoo and wash our hair, cream rinse, next thing you know, amen. We're stepping out, drying off with a towel because we done got clean. And that's exactly what you've been missing in your life that cleansing and that purifying through God's Word. Amen. You need to be here. Amen. The Bible said faith without works is dead being alone. I'm telling you tonight. Amen. God wants you to be here. Amen. And I believe that with all my heart. Amen. You need to sit up under an anointed man and woman of God. Amen. And let God teach you and train you in the fear and admiration of the Lord. Amen. And I tell you, Amen, you'll go great. Far places, God will use you, amen, and He'll help you raise this child, amen. I believe that with all my heart, amen. Glory to God tonight, Lord. Let your anointing rest upon her, God. God, I pray, God, that you just begin to wake her up in the midnight hour and begin to talk to her, God. God, in such a way, God, she'll have to listen. God, she won't want to go back to sleep, God, but she'll spend that time with you, God, and allow you to minister to her to those that she comes in contact with, God. God, she'll be a witness to them, God. God, she'll tell them about you, Lord, and I praise and glorify in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said he'll meet your needs. These financial needs that you've been worried about. God ain't got a problem with taking care of things for us and we're serving with all our heart. Amen. We can't worry about those things. But you got to do it be concerned about what God wants you to do. Amen. Get serious and serve God with all your heart. Amen. And God will take care of you. Amen. He's no respecter of a person if he'll do it for me. He'll do it. He loves you. He loves you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Such a sweet spirit here tonight. Amen. Didn't know that it's going to hold you this long. Amen.
only one way to try to do it his way. Amen. I'm telling you, I know some have had to leave, and that's fine. Amen. But we appreciate everyone that's come in tonight. Amen. So good to see Jesse and her baby. Amen. And see her Trent. Amen. Uh, wasn't expecting to see Trent till tomorrow night. Amen. But I'm so glad to see him walk in. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Remember Trent. He, he's going through a battle right now, but he knows God's going to take care of it. Amen. Amen. And, you know, God's will be done. That's all that matters to him. Amen. Yeah. I'm going through some battles myself, Trent, and I know God's going to take care of it. Amen. amen. I'm telling you, amen, Sister Sanders fighting the devil, just like was said tonight, amen. She's got a sickness that come up on her Friday, amen. And I mean, she's just not been Sandra since Friday, amen. And we need to remember her, Dustin and Erica, fighting the devil out there, amen. I'm telling you, amen, they need a touch from the Lord, amen. And glory to God, I, I, need, I need God. Amen. More than I ever have. Amen. I'm telling you, you and I need to realize that God wants to use us. And we got to walk in His love. Amen. So easily to be just sidetracked. Amen. This day and time, amen, the devil, I, he's not changed. He's still got the same old divine. Amen. But when you're not prayed up and read up, amen, you're not watching <coughs> I'll tell you, the devil will slip in there, and next thing you know, your whole world will be turned upside down, and you didn't even know how it happened. I can, I can tell you from experience, amen. amen. I want to tell you tonight, amen, but the devil's not bigger than God, amen. God has the last word. Somebody give God a hand clap. Job, amen, but it didn't happen, amen. Job got blessed, amen, because he held on to God, amen. He continued to worship God and praise God through all the agony and the pain and the heartaches and the hurt. Amen. And God blessed him twice what he ever had, amen. amen. I'll tell you, amen, you can't outgive God, amen. amen. You need to realize this day and time God wants to use you. Go out here and let His Spirit pour out of you upon the lost and dying world. Invite them to church. Tell them about revival. Amen. Encourage them. Let them know, amen, that something's going on and they need to be a part of it. Amen. Tell them they may not ever like to go to church, but if they'll just come to your church, amen, they'll like it. Amen. I'll guarantee you God will help them to like it. You'll get them here. He said he'll clean them up. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. I like catching fish, brother. Hines. Amen. I mean real fish. Amen. I don't, I'm don't. i not real big at cleaning them, but I learned to get good at it. Amen. Amen. There's, there's devices that will help you clean them real quick. George. Amen. And let me tell you, we'll bring them to the house of God. Not the fish fish. Amen. But the lost fish, amen? amen. We'll bring them to the house of God. God will clean them up, amen. He'll turn them into new creatures, amen. And we'll see this church grow, amen. Everyone dismiss in the name of Jesus. Shake hands and be friendly, amen. Mark told me the other night I forgot to say that. I said, Mark told me the other night, I forgot to say that. You got a key, you can go ahead and go. <laughs> yeah, I ain't no hurry, it's going to be. Act, I'm going to get you close to me. It's just, I don't know. I, I've had it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, that's right, brother. Praise the Lord. Amen. He's good, ain't he? You ready to have service again, ain't you? Amen. Praise the Lord. We turn, we'll, we'll turn Trent loose up here. He you, can't, you, can't, you can't set me up for prayer. Huh? I said, you can't set me up for prayer. I got to get some prayer. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're ready, bro. I'm going to let the Spirit I'm going to let the Spirit move before I say I'm ready. Who got to call the cross by Yeah. But right. you also know when the time is. You'll know. That's right. Yeah, you'll know it. You won't, you'll get the can't help it.
Yeah. You lie when jump up and start preaching. I don't even nobody asked you to. <laughs> you got no, no, no. no, it's the same one. Oh, is it the same one? It's, 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 hey. Good to see you here. Yes, he. Good to see you here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hey, happy. I'm going to go and get it. Probably tomorrow night, I did. Your Bible, who will take? Thank you, Yeah, praise the Lord, huh? Yes, good to see you too, huh? Come on, be with us. Hey, you're at home here, you got a baby? Let her run around here. We don't care. Somebody will chase her down before she gets outside. <laughs> <laughs>